this area took me so long to make like her makeup area took me forever to organize now he's like what y'all doing out here without me some movie posters for some of her favorite movies she has some paintings in the back and a nice little couch let me know in the comments like what do you guys think this extra room should be i'm really on the fence and i kind of want to just leave it empty she has a lot of makeup over here some hair products that i have still not put away because she was doing her hair earlier she just stopping away like about to make her some apple wine y'all see the chanel y'all see her drip y'all see her dripped out period and go 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 yeah 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 i'm so excited y'all like look at her ride her little horse <laughs> Greetings and salutations, y'all. It's your girl, the Sarah O. Thank you for stopping by on this video. Today, we're here with episode one of my Horse Ranch expansion pack let's play called The Reigns Family. We're here with Spirit the Horse and Miss Chardonnay Reigns, who is behind Spirit right now. I am going to go ahead and hop straight into Create a Sense to let you guys know a little bit about her before we hop back into live mode and get into a little bit of gameplay. So let's go ahead and do that right now so we are here in create a sim so let's get to know chardonnay just a little bit um this is the first or the second let's play i've ever done on my youtube channel so y'all bear with me because i'll be forgetting how to start these but we go we gonna make it work regardless um chardonnay reigns her pronouns are she her she has a lifetime aspiration of being an expert um winemaker so this sim wants to master the art of winemaking honing their abilities to consistently craft only the best wines they also want to make an absurd amount of simoleons doing it i do have an override with the base mental drugs mod in my game so that's why it's changed to wine and not nectar in case you are wondering but essentially it's going to be nectar making that comes with the horse ranch expansion pack she is a horse lover these sims share a strong bond with horses they have an easier time socializing with and caring for horses Horses other than other sims she is adventurous so these sims seek out new and unique experiences and she's a foodie these sims become happy and have fun when eating good food become uncomfortable when eating bad food and can watch cooking shows for ideas some of her likes and dislikes i'm not going to go into each category but i'll just read them real quick she likes horse riding she likes the color brown she likes hip-hop music nature enthusiasts winemaking of course she likes to cross stitch she likes the colors red black orange and orange she likes to bake she likes romance romance enthusiasts r&b music the color brown soul music the color green <laughs> cooking and hardworking sims so that's just a little bit about chardonnay reigns um i will go into her backstory once i get into gameplay and have her cook and all that because it's going to be her first night in a new home that I did decorate that came with the pack, but I'll talk a little about that during the house tour. So her first outfit, this is her first outfit. It came together really cute. If you guys do not follow me on Twitch, please make sure to do so. I do do a lot of behind the scenes editing for my Sims and this save file on Twitch. So I'll put it on the screen. So make sure y'all give me a follow over there. But my Twitch stars helped me put together this outfit. I just think she's just so cute. Like y'all, okay. Let me go ahead and show y'all the rest of the outfits. Yes, I did five outfits per category, I think except for the cold weather category so yeah she she's stunting on these hoes period but yeah so this is her second everyday outfit giving very you know dressed up ranch girl vibes this is her third everyday outfit i wanted to give her some outfits that were a little bit more casual to wear outside when she goes to the other worlds because she is originally from um henford on bagley which is the cottage living world and she used to live in oasis springs when she was a scripper there's so much tea behind her backstory but yeah um so that's one of her outfits this is another outfit you know it's ranch stuff so very much jeans and you know all that and last but not least i gave her a nice little you know it's giving like hot girl rancher you know this is what i was going for but this is like one of her, my favorite outfits of hers for her every day moving into formal you know the classic black dress yes yeah, she's tatted up you can't go wrong with that um she also has this brown outfit I'm, i think there's like a new like hold down dance or something or event so i put this outfit together specifically for that so let's see when she can do that next this is just a nice green ensemble for like business meetings and whenever she wants to you know make money moves this is a nice red spicy dress i'm thinking of maybe having her go on a date in this to somewhere nice and fancy and this is just a little basic blue dress in case there's like any weddings or formal events that she needs to go to 
athletic wear she is into athletics and yoga i realized i did not change the shoes on this so i'm gonna do that real quick hold on <laughs> We're back. Okay, so this is her first athletic outfit. I didn't realize. I did not change the shoes, but this is her first athletic outfit. This is her second athletic outfit. I didn't give y'all a little twirl, but y'all see the category is body. Look at the way it's sitting. Okay, so this is her first athletic outfit. That was her second one that I showed y'all. This is her third athletic outfit. Super cute, super, you know, bad bitch, hot person at work. Um, this is her fourth athletic outfit. Very bright. This is what I think I'll be using for her yoga and this is her fifth and not least athletic outfit as well so yeah she's very you know sporty and all that she does have a couple of skills that i will show y'all later when i get back into live mode this is her first everyday um everyday child this is her first sleepwear outfit this is her second sleepwear outfit something comfy with her little slides little balenciagas this is her third sleepwear outfit very cozy onesie and some bare slippers this is her cute kind of dressed up lingerie outfit number four for sleepwear and last but not least this is her fifth sleepwear outfit she did graduate from clark atlanta university in my game so i gave her a little sweatshirt to go with it this is her first party wear outfit very out there very sparkly very glam because you know she's that girl this is her second party outfit i feel like some of her party outfits gave more formal but you know you can always switch it up just change it up however i feel like it this is her third yeah i didn't realize like i literally gave five out oh, i remember it i did but it's like damn it's kind of a lot but y'all know i'm extra you know just be extra in life um this is her fourth speaking of extra this is her fourth party outfit very nice i don't remember where i got this from but if i can remember i will try to link it in the description box but i don't remember but i love this dress and this is her fifth party outfit this is definitely giving more like casual party vibes if she like gets invited to kickback or something this is her first swimwear outfit you know it's giving what it's supposed to give this is her second swimwear outfit um this is this set is by coco games you know i love her this is her third swimwear outfit i was feeling very 90s inspired with this outfit so that's why i gave her that hairstyle this is her fourth swimwear outfit very casual very chic very cute and then this is just the fifth one without the cover up so as y'all can see this is it with it and then this is it without it no shoes no cover up moving on to hot weather you know bro hot girl shit this is her hot weather outfit number one i really like the color orange on her and it's also one of her favorite colors this is her hot weather outfit number two you know with the natural hair out popping giving this is her hot weather outfit number three when she's kind of on the farm and it's hot and she needs to take care of her horse this is what she'll be wearing this is her hot weather outfit number four a nice little skin tight dress with you know a little silhouette on it and this is her hot weather outfit number five for when she's like you know on the ranch on the town and just doing things and last category cold weather this is the outfit you guys saw her in at the very beginning this is her cold outfit um weather whatever cold weather outfit number one this is her cold weather outfit number two this is her cold weather outfit number three very pink very barbie-esque and last but not least this is her last cold weather outfit giving red black you know dominate trick shit so yeah um that's a little bit about chardonnay reigns i am gonna go ahead and introduce y'all to spirit reigns yes i named we decided to name him in the twitch chat after the movie spirit if y'all have not watched y'all just pop it on the screen but it's like one of my favorite horse movies i think one of the only horse movies i've ever watched so it's really cute he is a mustang he is brave <laughs> these horses tend to be stout of heart unfazed by bad weather or danger they also have a higher chance of succeeding when using horse jumps and barrels he is a free spirit okay with the name spirit these horses thrive in the open outdoors and will become sad if left alone for too long and he is intelligent so these horses are all around rapid learners giving them an increased gain of all skills adds an added bonus they're also brilliant conversationalists so yes that is a little bit about spirit here are some of his outfits for whatever reason i don't know why i thought i made him a girl at first so some of his outfits look a little girly but regardless he eating it up we don't have gender roles for our horses he's a bad bitch regardless okay so this is uh his last everyday outfit for i believe this is for his riding outfits this is his riding outfit number four just with a little hat <laughs> on there which i think is super cute this is his third riding outfit this is his riding outfit number two and this is his riding outfit number one just a variation of a different color for number two 
this is his everyday outfit with like nothing at all you know sometimes he just don't want to have stuff on him and that's okay this is his second writing or everyday outfit his third this is his fourth yes we put a layer of crowns on his head because he is that boy and then this is his fifth writing or everyday outfit when he's not writing so um yeah you know we gotta make sure our baby is stunted out just like we are and that's just a little bit about them and create a sim i'm gonna go ahead and hop back into gameplay so we can play a little bit with chardonnay and i can tell y'all a little bit about her backstory all right so we are back with chardonnay and spirits in the world of <laughs> Uh, what you call it chestnut ridge y'all um i have not really explored this world i've just been so focused on getting their house together and everything so i have not gotten to explore any of the gameplay but this house is originally um does originally come with the horse ranch expansion pack i did change a few things because i wanted her um vibes to be more like modern ranch than what it was giving it was still cute but you know i had to just like give her a little je ne sais quoi it's not fully for furnished yet but i am going to continue to decorate it along the way this took me like a week to do so i'm gonna just continue um editing it along the way when more episodes are being released but we're gonna do a quick house tour before we hop into getting to know a little bit about chardonnay so of course when you come into the front not hard but not like you the police because we don't play that um it's very cute i forgot who made that uh door stopper but it's mad cute and then there's just a regular one right here she has some cute shoes in the corner this is a suitcase of hers because you know she just moved in and she's still unpacking a little bit there's this nice little coat rack by the door as well as a light switch and a thermostat over here is her living room area most of these beams were brown so we just turned them black when i was on twitch there's a nice little table over here for all of her trinkets and goodies there is a desk over here that i placed and there's a you know you know you gotta burn the candle so the candles are burning over there this is where she'll be doing most of her work and trying to sell some of her things on plopsy and all that you know entrepreneurship um there's a snake rug underneath there i put a little painting i was gonna put a lamp here but i'm still not deciding so really that empty for now this is the couch and some pillows she does you know spark up so i do have some of her paraphernalia there um this is some uh a days and essence magazine on the table she has another couch over here with a nice throw blanket this is where she'll be doing some of her knitting um or knitting her stitching so that's what she um she has a stitch for um, there is a guitar because I want her to start learning how to play the guitar a camera um, She has some records over there on the wall as well as a record player and a cute little tote bag um, That is usable shout out to Coco games and there is a nice script a pole because she used to script Yes, she did. Um, that's a little bit about her backstory um but yeah and then over here is a fireplace it's actually two fireplaces but I put them together for that look a TV and just like a random painting she doesn't know where she's gonna put yet aka i don't know where i'm gonna put yet and a decorative box to put up decorations during the holidays so this is her living room area i like i said everything is still not done but it's coming together pretty nicely this is just a random painting as well as a mirror so she could check her outfits before she leaves the house over here is a nice little um area for where she keeps some of her vases and sculptures that she's collected over the last few years she has a bar cart with some bottles you know you see the do say you see the henny you see the 1800 period um and then she has some wines as well so that she can taste test some of her wines when she starts making them with some glasses over here through these doors is the bathroom so i did replace the shower that i think there was a tub here so i replaced that um there's a sink there is a toilet there is i don't know what that toothpaste is going to the wall but we're gonna ignore that i'll fix that later like i said <laughs> um she does have some supplies some charmin some towels some of course band-aids and medicines some tampons and some skincare products because you know skincare is the best care and she also has a couple little trinkets like i said she's still moving in so just a couple must-haves for you know shaving and uh, hydrating her body when she's showering over here is the kitchen area, which is one of my favorite areas that I've worked on so far. Um, she has some shelves up here that are pretty empty. She is slowly unpacking some of her things that she needs, some pots and pans and um, food, and of course, cleaning supplies, some water. She has a Swiffer in the corner. Um, there is 
still a lot of work to do in the dining area but the table and chairs and the rug have been replaced and so has the ceiling lights which i really liked over here is her fridge microwave of course you got to have some seasonings because you know she likes to season her food she got that lari seasoning salt she's missing a lot but this is like some of the things she's using she has some himalayan salt brown sugar flour and oats as well as an oven of course and a lot of custom food um items for her to cook her custom food options with and uh of course you have to have hand soap by your sink and a blender over here um none of the bedrooms have a bathroom attached so i just went ahead and gave her the one downstairs since it's closer to everything she has a laundry bin she has a nice little rack for her clothes uh, she has some shelves over here that she hasn't put anything on yet she has a nice big mirror across from her bed um just one painting up as of now i will try to take some pictures and upload them or upload them <laughs> and post them on her wall as well some hanging lights a nice big bed um two journals because why have one when you can have a ton and a nice little body candle that burns when the game is not paused um so yeah moving away from oh i forgot this little uber eats bag <laughs> moving away from the back um or from downstairs over here i'm going to just go in through the back real quick because this is where her wine cellar is i didn't change too much in this wine cellar for the most part um this is how everything came I did add in another oh there was already a decorative box ignore me y'all I put two in her house for some reason um for decorations but over here is the wine or nectar maker that she will be using to create her nectar um walking over here I did change up the backyard as well I put a new dining table I went ahead and added a nice little birdhouse which is super cute I think this is by I don't remember maybe cow bills i can't remember but somebody made a super cute um birdhouse i did add a nice little chair or couch sofa with some pillows as well as a fireplace for you know making s'mores and some comfy chairs and of course you can't have a s'more area without actually having some s'mores out so she has some and a little sign which is super cute um back here is the grilling area so she is going to be grilling i might have her grill to start off but i'll see how i feel there is a new grill master set by qmbb that i really want to try so i think i'm going to have her do that some planters because she is going to be growing a lot of the fruit herself i put another mirror outside because you know sometimes you gotta look at yourself while you're outside popping and then there is a bar in the back of course um so yeah that is everything that is back here oh almost forgot there is a garden that came with this build um the only thing i really changed over here were the bushes and i added some lights but for the most part everything came as is and i did change some of the bushes and the lights in the back as well so yeah that's the downstairs tour and then we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs to see the rest of everything like i said this build or this house is not fully furnished yet so i am still just taking it days at a time we'll see how much more i do but upstairs this is her little hangout slash gaming area she has a tv speaker um she's still unpacking her movies <laughs> she only put out like the whitney houston greatest hits and the ice age so far she has some movie posters for some of her favorite movies she has some paintings in the back and a nice little couch she has some more magazines because she kind of likes to collect them um she has a playstation as well as another bar cart because you know our girl likes to drink she is that girl she likes to turn up and drink um so that is that area over here is her storage room i really have no clue what i want to do with this room she's still not fully unpacked so she has boxes she has her ballet bar a random rug um some condoms on the floor she does paint so i will have her paint a little bit and her yoga mat to do yoga um let me know in the comments like what do you guys think this extra room should be i'm really on the fence and i kind of want to just leave it empty um so yeah that's just a little bit about <laughs> that room there's nothing really going on and then there is her beauty room slash chill space she got another pole in here because y'all know she bought that money that bikini bottom money um this is just a giant wall length mirror that lights up um there is her whole y'all this this area took me so long this area took me so long to make like her makeup area took me forever to organize but i got it down that's all that matters but this is her makeup area 
she has of course her hair products she has some money because like i told y'all she used to be a stripper so she does have a lot of cash on hand most times um a nice little jewelry holder some vitamins and vaseline she has some bottle a bottle of henny black and some cbd sweets she has some nail polish um a flat iron that still has not been unboxed um of course a chair she has another candle and makeup and a lotions and smell goods over here, some essence. She has a card. She has a lot of makeup over here, some hair products that I have still not put away because she was doing her hair earlier. Um, she is, yeah, she just got a lot of stuff over here, y'all. She's still kind of unpacking, but yeah, she has, this is kind of like her hair organizing area, you know, some got to be glue, you know, why have one when you can have three, um, a wig that she's holding onto and another flat iron and curler set. And of course the stripper pole, like I said, a laundry bin that is a Megan Thee Stallion, I believe a rug and a rug over here. Um, some roses, some, uh, uh, tripod with the iPhone on it. And in this area, I added a door to it. I do want this to kind of be like her outdoor patio area where she like comes out to smoke and chill for now. She don't even have any bud on her. So we'll probably do that in episode two, but yeah. And then the last but not least, there's another bathroom up here in the laundry room. There is a sink with some, you know, hand soaps and some toothbrush, um, a laundry bin, a shower, just a standing shower upstairs, some cleaning supplies, um, like some Charmin toilet paper. And like I said, her laundry area, she has Tide, Gain, and the washer and dryer. So yeah, that is everything in the house. <laughs> I hope that house tour wasn't too long. But yeah, we're just gonna, I think we're gonna try to do some horsing around and do some gameplay. Um, I haven't actually had them actually interact too much, but we're gonna see what's wrong with Spirit. I think he's probably hungry because we haven't really done anything. He's feeling uncomfortable from being bored. Okay, well, damn. All right, he said, bitch, you boring me. So let's go for a relaxed ride. Um, and I can tell y'all a little bit about Chardonnay um, while they're riding. Um, she does not have, let me tell y'all about her skills first while I'm here because I'm sure that's a great way for you guys to get to know her. So these are some of her skills. I'll just do it by the order of the ones she's the best at. So she has maxed out her mixology skill. She has maxed out her research and debate skill. Her charisma is at eight. Her logic is at seven. She has expertise that's maxed out. Woohoo, striptease, rolling, photography, and twerking's maxed out. And then she has a wellness, video game, writing, fitness, fishing, Floor, flower arranging, painting, gardening, guitar, and horse riding and cooking skills that she is still working on. As you can see, she looks super awkward, y'all. I'm crying. Um, so yeah, a little bit about Chardonnay. Um, she does have a bit of a troubled past. Um, she does have a mom, but her mom and her, oh, look at that. Level up, Chardonnay has reached level, horse riding level two. Chardonnay can now go for intense ride or choose to canter hair when riding a horse, a horse. That's cute. Okay. So, um, she is unemployed right now. She did used to work as a stripper in Oasis Springs. Um, she is part of a the oasis finest so these are some of the girls that she used to strip with at the club um eva is the owner and the one who hired her and then there's maya jade zoe ivy donna and her so they're all there that work there or used to work there because she's no longer working there um a little bit about her past she does have a kind of a uh, complicated relationship with her mom um i'm trying to see if that'll show up Let's just go ahead and look at her relationship panel. So this is just her relationship panel. Um, like I said, she knows the other girls and her and her mom have a semi awkward relationship. Her mom is bitter, unemployed, a deadbeat mo mother and adventurous. They haven't had the best relationship. Her mom had her when she was really young and didn't really take the best care of her. But despite that, Chardonnay was determined to, you know, get better things for herself and oh child i'm zooming in and out <laughs> get things that were better for herself and she did get an economics degree from clark atlanta university and she got a distinguished degree with honors so that was a super big deal for her and um after getting her economics degree she decided that she was just gonna you know go out and leave uh henford on bagley and try something different um and that's when she went to oasis springs and started stripping so that she could pay for her education because her mom was not trying to give her the information to fill out the fast fuck because her mama was just a hater she just really ain't really fuck with her like that 
Um, so yeah, so outside of being a foodie adventurist and a horse lover, she's a woman, you know, she's female. She is a proud advocate. So she is part of the LGBTQIA plus community, which is something her mother does not like. I'm about to have them go back home because I do not want her to walk. Oh, it's already 10 o'clock at night. Y'all like, let me have her go home. Um, maybe they can like run here, canter here. I don't know what that is. I don't know what none of that shit mean. Um, but her mom is not happy about her being part of the LGBTQ plus community. Why? She, y'all, she looks so scared. I'm crying. Um, but um, despite that, she's still a proud advocate and she has come out publicly to her friends and family she would be happy to have a child right now even though she didn't have a good childhood she would love to have a child and take care of them the way she felt she should have been taken care of she does prefer exclusive romantic relationships she is cisgendered she has an essence of flavor from choosing the food aspiration she is a caregiver she is a hero and she is allosexual oh girl don't fall um panromantic pansexual and alloromantic so that's just a little bit of backstory is this motherfucker peeing? Is, is he peeing? Why did it sound like he was peeing? He didn't pee. I was like, what the fuck? I'm crying. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's just a little bit about Chardonnay. Now y'all know our girl and we're going to, you know, be on a journey with her together. We're going to try to call spirit to drink. Um. You know, they just, they're pretty new to one another. So I am trying to you know get to know spirit and have spirit get to know chardonnay as well um and i hope that you guys like her i really enjoy what's wrong with him can he not get the food oh maybe he can't even climb up here i put it up here trying to be cute and now i gotta move it hold on <laughs> let's see oh, okay so i guess they can't i guess horses can't come upstairs that is new okay but that's fine all i have to do is just move this around so let's just rotate this really quickly so that our boy can eat okay period and then once he's done drinking we'll also let him once he's done drinking we'll have him eat as well before we go in and make some food I feel like I'm really excited for the horses. I I don't really know anything about horses in real life, but I think our horse is so cute, even though his teeth are a little, a little yellow, but <laughs> Spirit is such a cutie. I'm so excited to play with him and see how Chardonnay and his relationship kind of evolves over time. But look at him eating his little hay. You better get it. He's so cute. All right, Chardonnay, it's time for you to eat. So I'm gonna have her, you know, brush her teeth get her life together this is her first night in her new home that she did pay off her stuff as y'all can see she only got three thousand dollars left so she a little broke <laughs> that's okay you know don't do her um she's tired but i am gonna have her use the bathroom uh, take a nice little shower maybe a light still bubble bath you know maybe with soaks let's see let's have her do a muscle relax oh maybe not muscle relaxing because she's tired let's have her do a uh, milk and honey that sounds good let's have her do a nice little milk and honey bath and then i will have her you know get ready to eat don't come for me y'all because i do not have my streamer mode in so i ain't trying to show her goodies or nothing so i'm gonna just let her you know go take a little bath and relax we can see her hold on we can see her relaxing you know chilling is somebody knocking on our door screaming not donna pulled up i was like i guess in her house it's 12 it's 12 55 a.m girl i'm trying to relax and take a bath like why what is she doing here what you i see how i just started and it's valentine's day y'all like whatever something must be wrong if she pulling up to us at one in the morning like this is booty call hours don't you got a booty call girl i didn't want to show her goodies but what's up like why is she here i know we cool but girl she not even gonna say nothing to me she's just gonna come into my house donna i'm trying to record donna what do you want like oh. now she flirty is she trying to flirt her? wait what's happening let's just make a drink now she's on pressure uh signs of high blood pressure i would think 
Let's just get a bottle of Henny. Because I don't know what this girl doing. Let me just get... Let me get him a nice bottle of Henny. And they could just have a little drinky drink. Even though it's literally... Like... One in the morning. But it's fine. It's not like she has a job. And they both work nights. So we chilling. Um, let's buy a bottle of Hennessy. Even though it's $2,000. Oh my gosh. She about to be broke. And now she's showing signs of high blood pressure. I'm going to set her up an appointment. So in episode two, we can... Let's do Windenburg. We can... That's Tuesday. Perfect. So maybe episode two or three, we can go with her and check out her um, health to make sure she is okay and she's doing good. But we're going to go ahead and have them drink this bottle together. She tired. She like, damn, this girl here. I'm, I gotta, I gotta host when I'm over here just trying to sleep. Like, goddamn. I really should have told her to leave, but okay. Um, Valentine's Day was awful. Valentine's Day wasn't up to Chardonnay's expectations. She didn't get to participate in enough of the tradition she likes. Maybe next year, girl, you'll be fine. You don't even got a man or a woman. So, I'm gonna have her test out this Grill Master by QMBB. I will link it in the description box. Um, uh, or maybe I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, I did. There we go. Let's have her make some grilled food. So there's cheddar, bacon, cheeseburgers. Mind you, her cooking level is one, so don't do her too much. Um, there's grilled mozzarella, portobello mushroom burgers, and sweet potato fries, hot smoked sausage dogs with potato salad and baked beans, honey grilled watermelon, and smoky barbecue pulled pork burger and sweet potato fries. Let's do the cheddar bacon cheeseburgers. I feel like that's the easiest thing to make like donna's flirty and i don't know if she's flirting with her or if she's just in a flirty mood but we just gonna ignore her because girl you ain't never push up on us like that you pulling up on us at like one o'clock on valentine's day we're not about to do that um let's have her wash her hands and she's tired don't tell me she's drunk already girl you have one drink and you're already home it says go home chardonnay you're drunk girl you have one drink like please All right, let's go ahead and make these buggers. Now she ain't got her shoes on. Oh, she do. All right, so she gonna make her some burgers, you know. Look, feeling her best. She's like, all right, I don't really know how to cook, but I'm a foodie, so I can't just keep... She ordered out most of college, y'all, so she really did not cook. So we about to see... <laughs> about to get her life together but here are why is she holding it like that um here are the uh cheddar bacon or cheddar cheese bacon burger i don't remember but she reached cooking level two look at her getting to level two chardonnay learned the recipes for eggs and toast blt chips and salsa and beef tacos she also learned a cool new combo add a trick move okay period so let's call the meal and eat with donna um maybe we can sit it's a little cold so i guess we'll sit inside and eat Well, I'll let her sit, whatever, because they're not even in a group. No, she sat outside. Like I thought she would. Oh, look at Donna sitting next to her, period. I don't know why you sitting at the head of the table like this is your house, but I'm going to let you leave. I'm going to let you leave. Um, okay, look at them. Look at her first guest, even though she didn't get an invite. Uh, <laughs> like, y'all, I'm lucky if you watching she's here. Like, we're going to have to ask her to go home. Because, girl, what? Why are you here, actually? Like, please leave. Um, We're going to... We're just going to friendly say goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, because girl. What is talking about? She's like, yeah, girl, I hope you have a great. Is that is that spirit running outside? What is he? Now he's in our business, sir. Now he's like, what y'all doing out here without me? First of all, that's why I locked the doors. Because apparently the horses can go in your room and take a shit. And you're not about to play me. Not today, spirit. What's he about to do? He about to go to sleep. He look like it. No, he's not. <gasps> you are kidding me. Suggestive look. That's why I was like, why she come over at 1 o'clock in the morning on Valentine's Day? Chardonnay is under the impression that another sim has their gaze fixed directly upon her with a glimmer in their eyes. It's plain to see that Donna, aka Barbie, has an intense interest in Chardonnay. If Chardonnay tries to push things to a more intimate level, they may have a good chance at a success. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, 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 let me open the profile. Does she think she's cute? Percy, that's very attractive. Why not? Might as well. Chardonnay has accepted Barbie's advances. She looks excited, anticipating the opportunity of experiencing a passionate moment with Chardonnay. She can do whatever she wants with her for the next few hours. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. We were just about to tell her to leave. Don't leave yet. <laughs> Don't leave yet. Bring that. 
let me stop okay um uh, let's do escape and put this away wow this is crazy so like are we about to get some on our first night y'all like what is happening so soon I'm, I'm crying because her and donna have been friends like the like donna is still in um clark atlanta university i think she's getting her psychology degree so she hasn't graduated yet but they met while they were in school so i'm assuming she probably had a crush on her and was just waiting until she didn't work at the same place and go to the same school as her which is smart you know because that's a little messy um did she leave oh, don't tell me she left okay maybe she already said goodbye too soon well i guess now we know that donna likes us but that was just a little jarring focus camera oh she's still here oh she's still here okay well let us flirt and see what happens at this point because i'm just so taken aback this is not how i was expecting episode one to go but let's just ask her a risque question because like what is happening i'm so confused i'm about to put this food away for her i got you girl i got you i'm gonna be a wing woman i'm gonna be the best watcher there is you ain't even gotta go back outside i got you period all right let's go ask her a question now she's sitting across from her girl why are you being shy she already gave you the look oh now she got she got up and moved next to her y'all now she got up and moved next to her the messiness affection not declare love first of all let's flirt let's just flirt let's just see how this goes because y'all i was just expecting her to just make some wine and go to sleep tonight donna is so little she better stop playing with her like she will take your cheeks girl don't play so play okay let's just do another a little a little romance um caress hand let's see is she gonna slap our hand away oh she held the hand oh okay, 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 okay like what do we do guys this is this is just so unexpected this is just so unexpected what okay okay i don't know if i want her to have woohoo with her the first night y'all like this is like we didn't this is a lot to take in like this is her like college friend okay good okay good i think okay i think that's the best because i was about to ask her to leave i surely get going out thanks for hanging out i'll see you later wow that was wow um okay well looks like we have a potential love interest and it's not even the fucking first, second day that we have been in the city um but i'm about to have our girl go to sleep that was a a long night uh it's already five o'clock in the morning when she wakes up i will have her start on her nectar making journey so yeah let's let's watch her catch some z's and um uh, yeah i will see y'all literally in a couple seconds because i'm gonna I'm speed through this so yeah <laughs> see you in a little bit all right y'all we are back with our girl chardonnay she is uh, feeling a little revived but she's also a little bit hungover because she drank a little bit too much last night even though she only had one drink she's worried about her health she's due for a health checkup but that's coming up on tuesday she had a bad holiday because she ain't had nobody for valentine's day and she is feeling flirty because it is that day of her cycle and she's ovulating so we're gonna go ahead and let her get started for the day i'm gonna have her use the bathroom uh, of course disable dishwashing <laughs> and then i'm gonna have her brush her teeth because you know you can't start off the day with some stank breath spirit is asleep um i did get him a ball because it showed me a notification while she was sleeping that spirit is feeling a bit bored consider placing a rubber ball for your horse to play with so i'm assuming that he played with this a little bit don't know why i have that <laughs> notification for zoe but yeah we're gonna go ahead and let her wash her hands shake it off and brush her teeth let me pause this so we can get you know the aesthetic shot because y'all know i love to just watch my sims do random day-to-day -day things so let's watch her get you know i'm gonna just let her get ready for breakfast and we'll just watch that with her all 
right now that we done seen her make breakfast she is really pouting because she's hungover and why tell her to take that shot in the middle of the night um <laughs> let's see she is still gonna be hungover for like five hours but that's fine we got her some oatmeal she should be feeling better soon enough i'm gonna have her make a little shake for breakfast just so she can you know switch it up a little bit for the one time let's have her make a protein shake we'll do um let's do herbs we protein milk and any herbs whatever i don't know what the difference is but maybe the herbs will help her sober up because she's clearly going through it right now i'm gonna put the rest of these oats in the fridge oh is she feeling better no she just laughed all right we're gonna speed through this then finwich fair has started you know she used to live in uh oh spirit reigns sims will not be able to talk about social life Who this? i'm crying um with spirit also socializing with sims and other horses are even more likely to succeed with spirit okay somebody just randomly started touching our, our horse but she's taking care of him so we ain't mad at it um what is she doing oh i didn't even know there was a glass of wine out there all right so i'm gonna have her clean that up and then after she cleans up all of her dishes on her lot i'm gonna have her make a little smoothie and then we're gonna get into some nectar making um we'll just finish off today with her and that's why i'll end off episode one i want to see if we can do some horse training with our boy spirit if y'all are interested in any of the cooking oh now zoe was here everybody pull it up on her damn um if any of y'all are interested in some of the cooking mods i use in my game i do have two videos up on my youtube channel for my favorite cooking mods so make sure to check those out the link will be in the description box and on your screen so click that and um catch up with me and some of my favorite cooking mods so she finished creating a protein shake with herbs and it's been added to her inventory so i'm gonna go ahead and have her drink that hopefully hopefully y'all hopefully that has her sober up because i'm kind of I'm, I'm tired of her looking all sad like ain't nobody tell you to take that shot i think she's really just more conflicted because she has to think about the fact that one of her close friends likes her and she doesn't even know what to do you know she just got here like this ain't even her second or third day out here she's just here and she not already has to deal with that so yeah why is she just i was gonna say like you gonna drink it she was like i don't know if it's gonna taste good she like it she's like uh -uh. No, nah, now nah, she's doing a little shake with it. She fucking that shit up. Eat, eat, eat. Face says. It looks like she likes it though. So, all right. She made herself a nice little smoothie. Okay, see? Perfect. I knew it was going to be the thing to set her off. So, she is energized, protein powered. Not only does protein fill you up, but it helps you build muscle. She uh, has good libations from a drink. And she has she's a homie trait. Okay, so that should be giving her enough energy to at least survive <laughs> and make some nectar with us today so i'm gonna have her just i don't even know if i could change her outfit with this can i oh i can i'm gonna have her change what the hell she can't even change her outfit i'm gonna just <laughs> I'm going to just change her outfit manually because I don't know why I can't change her outfit with the dresser, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and change into one of her, well, into my favorite one of her outfits for her little, you know, hot girl rancher outfit. And then we are going to have her craft wine so she doesn't have anything yet um like i said this wine override is by base mental drugs i will um link base mental in the description box as well but she can make different things um she does not have any wine skills so i'm assuming the only thing she can make right now is apple wine and grape wine so i'm going to go ahead and purchase some basic products i will get her 10 apples and 10 yeast and we're gonna go ahead. It says Chardonnay's purchased ingredients can be found in her inventory. These ingredients can also be grown with gardening, which will help provide, prove more cost effective over time. So I will have her plant some of these, but we'll start off by, um, now she needs grapes and apples, child. All right, <laughs> let me get some grapes too, cause I ain't know she need them both. I should have looked at it. What the hell? Purchase, there we go. So let's go ahead and purchase some grapes. The same amount, 10 and let's craft our first bottle of apple wine uh, i'm so excited for this because i have actually i've seen it in like the um what do you call it the gameplay trailer but i haven't seen okay she's stomping in there all right stomping away she looks sturdy so i don't know if she's gonna fall like but i'm gonna speed through this okay now she did a little one two step up and back 
I wonder how long this takes. Okay, there we go. Acquire the winemaking skill. Ooh, shoot. Charnay has acquired winemaking skill. She can use a winemaker to craft and bottle grape and apple wine recipes. Crafting wine with the winemaker will increase Charnay's skill and unlock new recipes. Okay, period. I actually don't know why she has these shoes on. I'm going to see if I can undress them because it doesn't really make sense. I'll probably have a mod in my game by the next time I play to get rid of the shoes all the time. I mean, I don't know if it's dirty to be stomping her shoe. Like, I don't know. So I just made her do a foot list because, you know, <laughs> the power of mods. But yeah, she just stomping away, like about to make her some apple wine, like and her cute little. I love this hat, y'all. Like, it's so cute. Like, I love it. And her cute little hat. So, oh, wait. Is that the damn... I was like, what is that sticking through? It's it's the grill, y'all. Let me move this up a little bit. Oh, wait. Let me... You know what? I'll do that in build mode later. Let me not fuck up anything. Okay, this actually takes a little while. Um. Okay, she's finally done. She got her shoes back on. Or she should. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I didn't even get to see it. Okay. Look her, oh wait, I wanna take pictures, y'all. I'm over here slacking. Oh, I, I didn't even know, okay. I'm over here slacking. She already done made her first bit of wine. Y'all see the Chanel? Y'all see her drip? Y'all see her dripped out, period. Um, But she already made her first little thing of wine. So cute, I'm trying to take a picture of the bottle. Like, y'all know, y'all know me, my pictures. Don't do me, don't be, don't do me. It ain't a let's play without some photos of what's happening. <laughs> okay, Charnay, ooh. Oh, I heard you and Donna. I thought she heard that she came over last night and flirted with us. Our good friends now, you're clearly more popular. Clearly you're a good person. I know. Okay, Eva. All in our business. Check up for us. Um, Charnay has acquired her first bottle of apple wine. Information about apple wine has been added to her notebook. A crisp, clean wine with a bright and bold entrance. Balanced profile and buttery mouthfeel. This inspiring classic goes down smoothly and doesn't overstay its welcome. The perfect companion for a fancy picnic. Made with grapes and apple, effects help Sims feel inspired. If wine is at least lightly aged, inspiration persists after wine's work. Where it's off, aging. Leave wine bottles unopened to let them age. Once a bottle reaches slight, lightly aged, positive effects are enhanced and negative effects are reduced. Wine bottles gain maximum simoleon value when they reach finely aged. Wine will age moderately faster if stored in a basement or cellar, or significantly faster if stored in a wine rack, which is great. She don't have, she ain't woohoo with nobody else. She a virgin. Like, um, even though she, you know, she, she yeah, I have virgin since my game. Who would have thought? Um, but yeah, so we're going to put this in one of the Ryan racks. I think it came with one originally. Um, but can we name this or is it just going to be like wine? Name. Apple wine. Let's say our first bottle of apple wine. I'm not going to sell this. I can always make another one. And I will just put this at the top and we'll just let it age. So you can collect all wine bottles. You can grab one and it looks like we can check it out. So it's normal quality and it's not yet aged and there's four drinks left in it. So that's that's really cute. That's perfect. Um, yeah, so we have made our first bottle of wine. We are officially on track to get to our winemaker aspiration. It says we reach level five of winemaking, make 50 excellent bottles of wine and make 100,000 simoleons selling wine. So who the hell is, is this Bob Pancakes? Why are all these people popping up to our house? Why are all these townies where they should not be? Okay, it's not making sense. Um, Let's hug Spirit because we have not seen him today. I am going to change his clothes. Ooh, not sell horse. We're going to change his clothes into his riding outfit that matches, you know, our aesthetic. And uh, yeah, we'll, get, we'll give him, we'll just give him without the hat for today. And we're gonna ride him. Uh, um, I believe there are some like practice training places over here by their house. So I'm going to have her go over there and do that. Why is she petting him from all the way over here? I hate when Sims don't make don't make sense. Like it's it's not giving what it's supposed to give. What is happening? Okay, I was like. Why did Donna come and want to be best friends? Okay, whatever, girl, go away. <laughs> I hate when Sims come on my lot and do that. It's so weird. Oh, look at him playing with that. That's so cute. Look at him playing with the big old ball. That's adorable. Why did, okay, you know what? Okay, they changed, outfit finally changed. Let's go ahead and mount spirits. 
I don't know why her shoes are still off. Let me put them back on. Um, we're just gonna change her outfit back to this because I don't know why they're, sh they're still off. It's like everybody wants to come to her place at the same time. I'm so confused. All right, get on that horse. I hate that this little thing is, I wish I could make a black. I hope somebody does an override for that because it's like blue and it's messing It's messing with the aesthetic. Oh, they're so cute. Wait, wait. Yes, y'all know I'm gonna take some pictures. They're so cute. Look at her face, like, ah! Okay, 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 okay. Let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. <laughs> let me not stop, though. Let me not stop. Okay, let's have them head over to uh, this little area that I saw when I placed their house. Um, I think this is the only type of, like, training stuff they have, which is fine. So let's practice the barrels. Let's see. Let's see if our boy spirit can get into it. She's still making a face, y'all. So don't don't do her too much. Don't don't do too much. She still don't know how to ride for real. She's trying her hardest. Actually, let me try. <laughs> y'all, look at. <laughs> she really struggling. She like help me, Jesus. This is why why I saw myself up for this. He over here galloping away. She over here trying to stay on. Like this is about to be hilarious. Okay. Ooh, I thought he was about to kick her off. Okay. She's actually staying on pretty well. What's it say? Required the agility skill. Spirit's new skill and agility will begin to help him perform better when using horse barrels. As this skill increases, he will also perform better at certain community jobs and their barrel racing, Western pleasure, and ultimate horse championship competitions. To track horse skill progress, select open profile on Spirit in the relationships panel. Okay. Very cool. All right, let's see what this looks like, y'all, because I've never done this before. Um, I kind of want the full look, so we just gonna, we just gonna zoom out a little bit, you know, let him do a little horse. Okay, the barrel tilted, but it didn't, it didn't fall over. Oh, this is so cute. And go, and go, and go, and go, and go. And go, and go, and go, and go, and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited, y'all. Like, look at her ride her little horse. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's how I'm kind of hunched over, but I'm trying to get a good picture. Y'all, like, one of these pictures will probably be the thumbnail because, y'all, I'm really trying my best to, like, <laughs> get some cute pictures. But I, I just feel like because she doesn't know how to ride the horse yet, it's just going to look awkward. But I'm sure eventually she'll smile. She's a hop, hop. Yeah. Let's see if I can get their skills to, like, let me see the name. Is it horse riding? Oh, see? Horse riding level three. Chardonnay can now direct horse to practice basic and advanced jumps by themselves at the horse jumps. At the horse barrel, Chardonnay might also direct horse to practice barrels and race barrels by themselves. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's different. That's new. What's the relationships look like? Donna, best friends. Percy was very attractive. This is too much. Deeply connected. Chardonnay has a powerful bond with Donna that is a source of strength and comfort. Child. Girl, you better not fall for the first person that trying to talk to you. Just because you a virgin, homie. You stupid. Okay. I'm trying to see, like, can they, like, race around it now? <gasps> oh, wait. No, no, no. They can't race. Oh, she needs to have... Oh, they need to have level five agility. Okay. Oh, wait. That picture with the moon in the back might be perfect. Let me see if I could try to, try to get it. Can I get that? Oh, that's kind of dope. Wait. I don't know. I feel like the barrel's kind of in the way, but y'all, I'm gonna have to, I might have to just do this like <laughs> off, not during the the uh, let's wait, but like I'm gonna figure it out. Um, okay, yeah, period. And it's eight o'clock. I feel like this is already really long, and this is just an intro episode. This is just episode one, so I'm gonna end. I feel like it's just so short. I feel like not too much has happened, but I feel like enough has happened. So I'm gonna just end it right here, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this first episode and intro to Chardonnay and Spirit, our, you know, the Reigns family, our uh family for this let's play let me know what you guys think in the comments um about that second empty room that she has should i turn it into a yoga room should i turn it into an art room should i just leave it empty for now in case you know she has a kid or a roommate or what let me know in the comments um i do want y'all to see her mother and her relationship at some point maybe in episode three 
um so yeah let me know what you guys think this is only, only my second let's play so i'm like <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy it thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all on my next video bye y'all